there. Want to play? I'm Johnny Storm. I'm going to burn you to death. No, no, no. Just a minute. Let me get my friend. Hi, I'm Goku, and I'm going to kick your... Oh, hi. Welcome to Ed Physics. Ed's not here right now. I'm Bob. So let me help you out with some, uh, some starter points for physics. Um, you need a couple of fundamentals just to get going. We need to talk about significant figures and units and conversions. So uh, let's start with units. I'll draw a few. Well, there's some fundamental units um, in the universe. The first is uh, units of mass, which are, well, let's see. I'll better write that down. Fundamental units. Uh, one is mass. And mass is given in units of uh, kilograms and grams. Uh, those are metric. Uh, there are other versions. In English units, we use slugs, a Pacific Northwest favorite, but seldom used. We don't talk about mass very much in English units. Uh, we talk about it quite a bit in metric units. Now, there's some other fundamental units. There's length. And length has units, well, several. You're used to inches, feet, miles. But you know, in metric, they're also like uh, centimeters and meters and kilometers. And there are many more. We'll have to work both in the English and the metric system. Uh, there's time. And time has units of seconds or minutes or hours, days, weeks, years, eons. It can go on and on. I like this talk. Uh, the other fundamental unit that I'm not going to talk about much this quarter, uh, maybe later, is charge. Positive and negative charges. And charge is given in units of coulombs, after uh, some French guy named Coulomb. And the Coulomb is given with a capital C. Now these are fundamental units. Not because they're fun, but because they're the basic units upon which all others are built. So, for example, I can take uh, length and divide it by time and get speed. You know, if I go uh, 60 miles in one hour, then I move 60 miles per hour. So speed would be in like units of distance over time, miles per hour, kilometers per hour, feet per second. By the way, seconds can be SEC or just S. Uh, meters per second. So there are different units, different ways we can add these units together. If I wanted to look at area, Now area, area is length times height, right? Two different lengths. So if I have an object like this, I want to get the area, I'll multiply its length times its height. And the units of those be those of uh, multiplying two lengths together. So the units would be like uh, uh, meters squared or uh, feet squared, or inches squared, or square miles, square kilometers. Um, there are some units for area that aren't squared, uh, like, um, let's see, the acre and the hectare. But there are lots of units for, for area, right? How about volume? Now, for volume, 
I'm taking, well, I'm taking a length times a width times a height. So that's, that's three lengths. So the units would be, well, length times length times length. So for volume, I'd have like meters cubed, uh, feet cubed, cubic inches, cubic miles. But there are also some that, uh, that don't use that because we just have figured out different ways to, to measure. There's, um, there's the teaspoon. Uh, it's, you know, you could measure it in, you know, cubic centimeters or cubic meters, but uh, it comes as a standard. Um, the tablespoon. The cup. Or uh, my favorite, the pint. But there are also gallons, quarts. There are liters, right? Now, so those are units. If you want to measure something, it's got to be in terms of something else we know. We know how long a meter is. We know how long a foot is. Um, we know how much mass a certain substance is. Well, shoot, the, the foot is based on a foot. The inch is based on pretty much something like this. There used to be a cubit, which was, uh, was this long, but people thought people were getting nasty with them, so they stopped using that. Uh, the meter is a certain uh, fraction of the distance from the equator to the pole. All these are standards. If you get further and further, uh, if you get bigger and bigger, um, we talk about the distance to Jupiter in terms of how far it is from the sun to the earth. And Jupiter's five times further away. Uh, so we, the distance from the sun to the earth is an astronomical unit. So we say Jupiter is five astronomical units away. We're just getting some, we're basing units on something we know.